The community has been asking for different game modes for so long, and we finally got that with the Lights Out modifier, which just yep. added a whole new uh, play style to the game versus normal gameplay. What was the feedback like for you guys? Uh, honestly, I thought it would be uh, a little more uh, intense as a reaction. Like, people mm -hmm. loved it. Don't get me wrong. People yeah. really loved it. It was played quite extensively for a while. Uh, but then people went back after, I think, the the, the, the two-thirds of the, the period we had it for, people went back to playing the, the main game mode, which, I mean, shouldn't be surprising. This is the core gameplay. It's fun. This is what people like. They like to have access to everything that they've learned to, to you know, uh, strategize with. Uh, but I, I really liked the the lights out game mode. That being said, it's not the last time you'll see it, but it is also the very first of many. Uh, there's been quite a lot of really interesting ideas that have been uh, discussed and tested internally. So there will be more modifiers and and game modes that are going to be released in the next few months. I want to say. Okay, you kind of awesome. stole. Uh, that is great <laughs> to hear. You kind of stole my next question, though. I a lot of people, especially you know the real players, everyone who digs into the game, a lot of people have been calling it kind of a test and experiment. Well, a, a little bit. You know, one of the things, like I remember when we were talking about this like six years ago, uh, when we had a much smaller player base back then. But one of the questions we had was like, should we create different game modes with a different like a, a play button? Uh, and we were always very wary of of sort of separating the community and and therefore sort of the 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 wait times and the matchmaking and all these things. Mm -hmm. For us, it was always very critical that when you click that play button, you're in a game as quickly as possible. And by breaking the community into different parts, you obviously add a little bit of complexity to the matchmaking. Uh, so yeah, this was a test in many ways. First of all, because of that, like I said, just breaking up the community and offering you different ways to play the game. I think that on that on that side, the test was very conclusive and very positive. It didn't really matter in the sense that it didn't have a negative impact on the experience of people Not just wanting to play the main game. Uh, but at the same time, it was still easy to get into a game in the lights out mode. So there's enough people playing the game that it's a totally valid way of presenting an alternative to people. Uh, and the second thing is, yeah, we wanted to know if people are interested in slightly different mm -hmm. ways of playing the game or very significant ways that are different of playing the game. And and I think that on that also it's very conclusive. Like people are interested in seeing what else we've got, what else we can we can bring to shake things up a little. Uh, um, absolutely, a hundred percent. You know, sometimes you have a few bad matches or something, and you you still want to play Dead by Daylight. <laughs> no, and, and there there's just another well, option I know what to you enjoy mean. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, because the, the, that's part of the strength of this game, right? Is yes. sometimes it can be very frustrating because mm -hmm. there's variety, because every match is different. And because mm -hmm. of that, it means that like any statistical thing, sometimes you're at the, the end of the bell curve where things are weird or not as pleasant. In the same way that sometimes you'll have a match that's absolutely perfect and then some yes. really crazy things happen and it's unique and it's awesome right so it's the sort of price you pay